number 7. So here we're given a curve C with equation Y equals FX. And we're also given the derivative of this equation over here. So knowing that P lies on this curve C, we're asked to find an equation of a tangent in this form. So what do we need to know firstly? First we need to know what the gradient M is. And we already know what X and Y is. That's given by this point. So we can substitute this in. But to get m, m is also found by this gradient equation. So we need to recall that the first derivative of a curve or anything is also known as the gradient equation. And we find it by plugging in the corner required to get the gradient at this point. So let's have a go at this. So for part a, we can say when x equals 4, in other words at point p, then we can find the gradient of p using this equation. So f prime 4 equals, then we just plug in 4 to this equation, 30 plus 6 minus 5 times 4 squared over the root of 4. Now this is just a case of solving, so the gradient m, what's it going to be? So this part, we've got 5 times 4 squared, 4 squared is 16, 16 times 5 is 80, 6 take away 80 is minus 74, so let's, have, let's do so far. 30 plus minus 74 over the square root of 4 is 2. Now simplifying this part, half of minus 74 is minus 37 and then adding it to 30 will give us minus 7. Good. And that's it. So now all we do is using this y equals mx plus c to grade the equation of a tangent, plug everything back in, the coordinate of p and the gradient. So we've got minus 8 into it. So we're going to have minus 8 equals m which is minus 7, x which is 4 and then plus c. Do it so we can find the value c, rewrite this with m and c and we're done. So what do we get? We know this too, minus 7 times 4 is um, minus 28, plus it across we're going to therefore get c equals 20. Hence our equation of tangent is now y equals minus 7x plus 20. And that's it, this equation at the point, the uh, equation tangent at this point, C. Okay, super. So let's move on to part B. So here they just want us to find fx, i.e. the integral of this. First, to integrate this, we need to rewrite this part into standard form. So let's do it. So rewrite this equation, we should get 30 plus, now, I'll split this up. I'll do 6 over root x minus this term of root x. 6 of root x, we know root x is x to the power half, so just a key note here, root x is x to the power half, so therefore 6 over, uh, if we're going to bring it back to the baseline, we're going to put a negative power, so it'd be 6x minus half, minus 5, and again, x squared over this, so it'll be x to the power 2 over x to the power half. When you're dividing powers, you, you end up dividing terms, you end up subtracting the power. So this would be 2 take away half, which is 3 over 2. And that's it. So we just really have to integrate this. So integrating this, we're going to have fx, which is the regular equation. Integral 30 is 30x. Integrating this term, so we're going to add the power, so it'll be a half, so it'll be 6 plus 6x to the power half and divide it over its power. Same thing, repeat the process, 5x, add 1 to the power, you get 5 over 2, divide by 5 over 2, and of course plus c. Tidying this equation up, we should get 30x, 6 over half, so what we do is just do 6 times 2, which is 12, so it just be plus 12x to the power half. Again, same thing. These 5, so it'll be 5 times 2 is 10, 10 over 5 is 2. So it will be minus 2x to the power of 5 over 2, and again plus c. And finally, rewrite this into the standard form, into, into the, its original form. x power half is just simply root x minus 2. Again, this is root x powered by 5, so the root x powered by 5. Ooh, not bad. Now, all we have to do is find out the value of c. And to do this, remember this c is not that c, so a and 20. So what we have to do is plug in these corners here, and then follow, we get c. So at point p, that means fx would be minus a, so therefore we're going to have minus 8 equals, and plug it in 4 for all of this, we're going to have, so let's try this one, 
30 times 4 which is 120 plus root 4 which is 2, 12 times 2 is 24 minus, ok here we go, square root of 4 is 2, 2 to the power of 5, so we can get 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 32, double 32 is 64, and then plus C. Now, we just pretty much summarize all this, so adding these two you get 144, take away 64, now I need to do this in my head, let's double checking again, so minus 8, so adding and minusing all this should give us 18 and just have to double check plus C and subtracting 80 across will give us minus 88 that's it now all we have to do is put this back into C and then rewrite the whole equation so therefore Y equals 30 let me just bring it up a bit oh, Y equals 30 X plus 12 root x minus 2 root x to the power 5 minus 88 and that's it guys hope this helps